you have good news to uh, share about the growth rate uh, in the American economy. But as we know, the economy is more than one statistic. Is the growth rate, is the price of this growth rate inflation? Well, not in the sense that this growth rate is adjusted for inflation. That is, uh, we just achieved the strongest GDP growth in 2021 in almost 40 years, as you said in your introduction. And that's adjusting for inflation. That is a real growth rate. Now, also, in the background of that uh, very uh, fast GDP growth is one of the tightest labor markets this country has ever seen. Unemployment fell faster last year than it ever has on record. Those data go all the way back to 1948, over 6 million jobs created. If I were sitting here talking to a year, uh, you a year ago, which, by the way, I probably was, uh, we would have been looking at 800,000 claims on unemployment insurance. This morning, we learned there's something around 260,000. So all of those uh, kind of statistics, I say not just to uh, flood you with numbers, but to make the connection between a strong growing economy on the GDP side with that growth reaching working families through an extremely tight labor market. Uh, who are the beneficiaries of this growth rate? Because it's one of those numbers where it's, it's a big macro number, yeah. uh, but some people could be out there saying, gee, I don't feel this at all. Yeah, no, it's a great it's a great point. I mean, uh, uh, some people you start talking about GDP, uh, they reasonably say, well, wait a second, uh, I don't eat GDP, I don't drive in GDP, I don't pay rent with GDP. And and the fact is, again, the connection there that's so critical, Lawrence, is the tight job market, which disproportionately is providing its benefits to those in the bottom half. Uh, I just saw some new numbers today. If you look at the wage growth of people in the bottom half of uh, the job market, their pay is actually growing faster uh, than workers at the top. Now, that's uh, obviously uh, opposite to the way it's been in periods where job markets have been more slack, where they've been less tight. And the reason for that is that when job markets get as tight as they are now, I mean, we, we actually have about the highest number of job openings on record. In fact, more job openings than there even are unemployed people. When you get to that level of labor demand, workers have a lot more bargaining clout. And I have to tell you, that is at the core of Bidenomics, strong bargaining clout, so we ensure that working people benefit from economic growth. Now, we also have inflation issues that we should get into. Uh, they're out there, too. Uh, but at the same time, against the backdrop of that inflation is the fastest growing economy in 40 years and the tightest labor market in generations. Uh, and what about the uh, record enrollment uh, for the mm. Affordable Care Act? How does that how does that affect workers and the economy? Well, it, it, it really achieves one of the key goals of uh, Biden-Harris administration, which is to ensure that health care is a right, not a privilege, and that is it is accessible and affordable. And that occurs through a record-breaking 14 and a half million people who signed up for 2022 health care coverage through the marketplace exchanges of the Affordable Care Act. Now, uh, that includes just uh, under 6 million people who have newly gained coverage. So the uninsured rate actually fell uh, over the past year from about 10 to about 9%. So these are critically important gains, again, for the folks who need them the most.